the County of Lorien. Crusader Kings 3 has definitely already cemented itself as one of the greatest grand strategy games ever made. One of the reasons it's so good and replayable are the sheer number of factions you can start with in the campaign, which gives you access to an innumerable amount of starting situations. The County of Lori is definitely one of the most difficult campaigns in Crusader Kings 3 due to the historical circumstances of its creation. The County of Lori is an independent realm in the 1066 campaign that borders the Byzantine Empire, the Emirate of Tbilisi, and the Beylik of Khachen, which is a vassal of the Seljuk Empire. It has Armenian culture and its religion is apostolic. It is ruled, ruled by Count Kyurike II of the Bagratid dynasty, which was the royal dynasty in charge of the then-defunct Kingdom of Armenia, as well as the Kingdom of Georgia. Kyurike II is a good leader, with good intrigue skills. You have a few options for expanding politically. The easier route would probably be to try and unite Georgia by taking Tbilisi and Kacheti and making allies before trying to overthrow the kings of Georgia based in Kutaisi at the start of the 1066 campaign. The more difficult route is trying to restore the fallen kingdom of Armenia. In order to do this, you have to make war with a few factions, or you have to wait for them to weaken and collapse. The counties of Haik, Turuberan, and Vaspuragan are controlled by the Byzantine Empire so you have to figure out how to get these territories under your control. The Emirate of Devin is a Kurdish-controlled county that is rather weak and should not really pose a problem for you, and it will actually probably be taken out before you can even get a border with them. The remaining Armenian province is the county of Sunik, which is another independent county in control of another remaining Armenian noble house, the Sunids. I'll do another video about the historical background and early campaign strategies for the county of Sunik as well. Uh, additionally, you have the Armenian province of Khachen, which starts out as a vassal state incorporated into the Seljuk Empire. If you're a more militaristic player, you have a few good options for conquest at the start of the campaign. Your neighbors, the Emirate of Tbilisi and the county of Kacheti, are not particularly strong, and you can subjugate Tbilisi in particular rather quickly. You should also definitely pay attention to the succession laws, since the county of Lori has partition succession, and you have to be careful to make sure your realm doesn't get divided too badly, if at all. Historical background. The historical state that the county of Lori is based off of is the kingdom of Dashir Zoraget, which existed from 979 to 1118 AD. Its capital was the Lori Fortress in the modern province of Lori in the Republic of Armenia today. The Bagratid king of Armenia in 979, Sambat II, gave his brother, Kyurike I, the kingdom of Dashir Zoraget and granted him the title of king. The kingdom was pretty well protected during the invasions of the Seljuks and the Byzantine-Armenian Wars that tore the Bagratid Kingdom of Armenia apart in the middle of the 11th century. In 1021, the king of Vaspuraghan bequeathed his realm to the Byzantines in exchange for becoming a vassal in the interior of the Byzantine Empire. In 1045, Gagik II, the last king of the Bagratid Kingdom of Armenia based in Ani, the so-called city of 1001 churches, was forced to give up his kingdom to the Byzantines and also received territories in the interior of the empire. These departures of local Armenian noblemen and their entourages really weakened the new border territories of the Byzantines, which really helped the Seljuk Turks invade and conquer them rather easily, culminating in the Battle of Manzikert in 1071, between the Byzantines and Seljuks that was a complete disaster for the Byzantines. In 1066, you see that there are several Armenian lords within the Byzantine Empire, including in Sebastia and Lycandos in Kilikia. Eventually, 
these princes were able to establish several independent principalities after the decisive defeat of the Byzantines in 1071, which eventually led to the creation of the Principality and then Kingdom of Armenian Kilikia, which existed from approximately 1080 to 1375 AD. The departure of the majority of the Armenian nobility from Armenia in the mid-11th century left the remaining Armenian principalities, Lori, Sunik, and Khachen, in serious jeopardy. The invasions of the Seljuks remained serious threats to the sovereignty of these kingdoms. However, the kingdom of Tashir Zoraget, Lori, with its strong leaders of the now cadet branch of the Bagratid dynasty, the Kyurikians, was able to survive and thrive in this difficult situation. Historically, at various times, the kings of Tashir Zoraget were able to exert their authority over their surrounding territories, becoming suzerains for a short time over the emirate of Tbilisi, the kingdom of Kacheti, and Tavush as well, which is a barony within the principality of Khachen in Crusader Kings III. In 1118, the kingdom was annexed by the Bagratid kingdom of Georgia. This was not the end of the Kyrikian dynasty, however, and they remained important players within the Kingdom of Georgia for quite a while after that. The Kingdom of Tashir is also important for Armenian history, since they were the first kings to mint coins with Armenian inscriptions on them. The first Armenian dynasties, the Orontids and the Artaxiads, who reigned from approximately the 6th century BC to the 1st century AD, minted coins with Greek inscriptions. The subsequent dynasty, the Arsakids, did not mint coins. The restored kingdom of Armenia of the Bagratids, who reigned from 885 to 1045 AD, also did not mint coins. Thus, Kyurike of the kingdom of Tashir Zoraget, or Lori, became the first king to mint coins with Armenian texts. They don't look particularly special or good, but their rarity means that they are worth quite a bit nowadays. Anyway, this was my short introduction and historical background for the County of Lori faction in the 1066 campaign of Crusader Kings III. I think I'll be doing a Let's Play of this faction soon. If anyone has any questions or requests, let me know. Thanks for watching.